Hey, what's up guys? Joshua Casper here with Plugin Boutique, and today we're gonna to be checking out the all new Vocal Synth 2 by Isotope. This is an incredible synthesizer, but it's not really a synthesizer, is it? It's an effect that makes your vocals sound like synthesizers. It's got a talk box, it's got a vocoder, it's got the all new BioVox, it's got PolyVox, and it's got CompuVox. It's got so many voxes you won't know what to do with. Now, there are a ton of new features in the update. It almost feels like it's version five instead of version two, but I'm gonna show you my favorite thing. My favorite feature inside of Vocal Synth 2 is the MIDI mode. It allows you to take any vocal in any key and move it into the key of a different track. And it's absolutely phenomenal, especially if you're already going for that kind of vocoder, vocal style synth <laughs> that Vocal Synth's so good at. So I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video tutorial. Let's jump into it. Vocal Synth 2 by Isotope. This is Vocal Synth 2 here on the screen, and it's absolutely phenomenal, especially if you're looking for kind of those vocoder-y, talkbox-y vocals. Now, what's super dope, and my favorite feature of this thing, is the MIDI mode. The MIDI mode allows you to pitch any vocal in any key to the key of your track using MIDI. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So I've got this track, I'm gonna go ahead and delete Vocal Synth 2 for a second. I've got this track, and the whole track is an E minor. So I've got this vocal here, and it's in G minor. And let me play it without Vocal Synth. Let, let's see how bad it sounds. Light is touching me But the dust gets darker And the days get harder so those do not play nice together, okay? It doesn't sound right at all. I mean, there are some points where it's okay, but in the, especially this beginning here, it's just terrible. So let's drop Vocal Synth 2 on the track. And one other thing, this is a quick extra bonus tip for you. When working with Vocal Synth 2, I find that if the uh, vocal itself is too dynamic, especially if you're gonna be doing this MIDI mode where you're not gonna be using any of the dry signal, it's all gonna be the wet process signal, it's best to put a compressor on it and just compress it a little bit more than usual. Uh, I just find that the artifacts are kind of toned down when you do that. This is a quick, quick tip. Okay, so let's listen now. It's on auto mode and we just got the vocoder on it. This isn't pitching it differently at all. All right, so that's not working. So what we need to do is turn on MIDI mode. If you go up there to the top, click MIDI, there's a tutorial here how to set it up. I'm gonna show you anyway. We're gonna jump out of here and I've got some MIDI right here. And what we need this MIDI to do is go into the channel with Vocal Synth and then into Vocal Synth. So the way to do that is the output here. I wanna go to output five, because that's the channel with the Vocal Synth. And then from the second drop down, I wanna go Vocal Synth two. You'll see that Fab Filter Pro C can take incoming sidechain signal, but we wanna to go to Vocal Synth 2. And now watch what happens as this MIDI plays over the vocals. Let me, let me just solo it so you can hear it a little bit better. Okay, so I've got two notes here playing. Uh, if you come into Vocal Synth 2 and open it up, and you come to the Voicing tab, and then down here at the bottom, you can see that we have Mono or Poly and Glide. I have it on Poly. That means it's gonna play a chord. If I play a chord in my MIDI, it's gonna play a chord back through the synth. So uh, that's very important. If for some reason you're not getting your full chord, you're only getting one note at a time, it's because of this voicing option right here. So what I'm gonna do is actually go ahead and pop in a preset I made. And if you're looking for more information on Vocal Synth 2, I did a full course for producer tech. Uh, go check it out, it's really great, and you get 10 presets with it. So uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and choose one of the presets that I've made and run it on this vocal and see how it sounds. All right, so let's, let's hear what that sounds like in the mix. So look at that, that vocal sits perfectly inside of this track. Now, it gets better than that. I've got lots of different vocals, okay? If I right click here and show in browser, 
Uh, this is from a pack called Origin Sound Liquid Motion. Uh, look at all of these vocals here. And another bonus tip, use dry vocals when you can. If you can't, you gotta use the gate inside of your DAW or Vocal Synth actually has a gate too. This is like a whole other tutorial. There's a gate function right here. Uh, if you've got like reverb on there, it's gonna process that reverb like it's a vocal and you don't want that because it just sounds like a mess usually. Sometimes it works out okay, but use this gate or use the gate in your DAW to uh, chop off any of the reverb. But anyway, watch what happens. I can just take any one of these vocals now and drop it in here and run it. So this one's in G minor. It's at 172, so I'm gonna come in. Another bonus tip, put it on Complex Pro. Uh, if you're gonna be using it, and let's see what this sounds like now. So boom, we can just keep dragging and dropping whatever, whatever vocal we want into this project right now, and it's always gonna be in key of the project because it's just getting synced up by this MIDI. Now we can go even further and change that MIDI. So let's come into, let's say, music loops, melodies. We need an E minor loop. So uh, we actually only have one here. So what I'm gonna do is actually just jump in and just move some of these. Um, let's, let's select them all, do something like this, and like something like that. Just something crazy, just to show you um, how easy it is to start tweaking these out. <laughs> So uh, you can just start running through all of the MIDI you have that's in E minor and dropping it on there and seeing how that plays with the vocal in your track. Now that that's set up in MIDI mode and the MIDI is being piped in there, you've got just the workflow is easy at this point. All That's the only work you need to do. You need to dial in your preset inside of Vocal Synth 2, route that MIDI in there, and then you can just keep dropping acapellas and different MIDI sources in here until you find the perfect vocal for your track. Anyway, that's a quick look at MIDI mode inside of Vocal Synth 2 by Isotope. Just came out, highly suggest it. Links in the video description. Joshua Casper here for Plugin Boutique. Hope you learned something. We'll see you next time.